Okay, first of all, I'd quite like, quickly like to talk you through my setup. I've got a, an IP phone called Xlight. I find this easy to use and it's good for recording people's voices, my own voice and the scammer's voice. The second most important thing is that I'm going to be running some screen recording software. Uh, I use something called BSR Screen Recorder and that just enables me to capture not only what the scammer is doing but what I'm doing at the same time. And probably the most important bit of software is the virtual machine. Um, I'm running VMware. I've got a fresh installation of um, Windows 7. Um, it's fully up to date. I'm running uh, Microsoft Security Essentials, so and it's fully virus scanned and fully up to date. And I'm running something called Advanced System Care, which allows me to tweak the machine and make sure it's running really as performantly as it can. Be. Uh, as it can. So most of what the scammer will do will take place in this window. Um, the last bit of software that I run is something called Wireshark um, and I'll be capturing the virtual network adapter so I'll be able to see all of the incoming and outgoing activity on this machine and in particular it will allow me to see the IP address being used by the scammer to connect to this virtual machine. I will let the scammer have free reign on this machine. It's an expendable virtual machine. I've got snapshots of the machine so I can revert back to those very quickly, uh, but I'm gonna let the scammer have free reign on this machine um, just so that I can capture exactly the what he does and what his IP address are. And that's my setup. Hello. Yeah, hi, sir. Yeah, hi. Hello. Hello? Hi there. Hi. Yeah. Hi, sir. Yeah. This is Rick Paul from the Windows Technical Department. Okay. Okay. So I have the word with uh, someone uh, in the uh, in your home. I guess so. So will you be uh, will you please turn on the computer? So I will uh, securely get connected to the server. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, All right. I'm, in, I'm in front of my computer at the minute. Is it on? Is on? Is it on right now? Uh, it is. Yes. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. That's one of us. So uh, first of all, uh, do you see any blue color icons on your computer screen? Um, blue, blue color square icon. Um, yeah, is it something Team called TeamViewer? TeamViewer Team is that? Is that it? Yeah, yeah. Let yeah. me open that. Okay, let me open that up. It's running a little bit slowly, but it's getting there. Sorry? It's running a little bit slowly, but it is, it is getting there. Um, it's just starting up now. Now what do you see, Nick? Okay. Uh, sorry, it's running a little slow. Okay, I've got a, an ID and a password. Correct. So tell the ID first. What is the ID? Okay, the ID is 375. 375? Zero zero four. Zero zero four. Nine two six. Nine two six. And the password? And the password is three nine four nine. Three nine four nine. All right. Okay. Okay. Just hold on. Okay. So have you got the option like trustworthy? Not yet. Okay. Oh, yeah. so Once you, you got it, you need to click on trustworthy. Right. Correct. Okay, trustworthy, Done. trustworthy. Right, there you go. All right, that's wonderful. Now, just be in front of the computer. Congratulations. You are securely get connected to the certified technician right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. Okay. All right. So, uh, I do believe you remember you have got called yesterday concerning about the computer, right? That's right, yeah. Okay, so what do you have to understand about the computer, sir? Um, somebody rang me up saying that um, there was a virus or something. Is that right? Uh huh. All right. And then? And then they tried a remote connection. Okay. Then after? Yeah. Do you not have a, a record of this? No, I don't. No. Okay. So then I think the call was handed over to somebody else 
who All went, right, then. Went, who went through and kind of tried to do a few other things, including, All right. including setting a password on the Windows account database, like you're doing at the minute. Then. Yeah. Okay. And then they they used um, things like the event viewer to show non-existent problems and uh -huh. um, uh -huh. and so on. All right. Then you have uh, have you understand about these things? Why these things are uh, mandatory for your computer? Yeah, but I mean it's fully virus checked. It's fully up to date. There, there's no viruses on it. There's no viruses in it. All no, right. That's right. So what do you think? So I think you're uploading a file which you're going to run and try and convince me again that there is a virus when when it's kind of a, a normal. Um, oh, you're you're downloading everything. Is that right? I see that. Sorry. I mean, I can see you're now downloading all my files. I'm not downloading all your files. No. Okay. I just saw you did there. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so I mean, you know, and I know that uh, it was a scam run from yesterday. Um, if you look on okay, YouTube, so if you look on YouTube, it's all recorded and visible. So have you have you traced have you traced uh, have you traced our call? Yes, I've traced your call, and I can see your IP address as well. It's the same one actually as yesterday. Okay, you can see my IP address. All right, that's I wonderful. Can, now, uh, where we where we located? Where are you located? Um, I, I know who your yep. ISP is. You're, you're most likely Kolkata um, from this, Sorry? but as you know, it's impossible to pinpoint exactly the location of an IP address. But I know who your service provider is. Uh huh. Okay, and I can tell you your IP address right now if you want. Okay, and uh, where are you located? What do you have told me? Um, certainly India, most likely Kolkata. Okay, but I'm checking with your ISP All right. exactly where you are. Okay. So th this That's is Brian. Wonderful. Do, you want, do you want me to see? Do you want me to show you what your IP address is? Are you interested? All right. The fact that I know all, right. all about you. Do you think you're obscure? Don't you? You think you think I don't know um, how to trace you? Don't you? And um, no, what what is the address? Can I know the address? Yeah, I'll I'll show you right now. I'll I'll just show you on who is. Okay, because I can see okay. I'm just tracing you right this second. Okay. And All right, that's wonderful. Okay, are you interested in this? Because yep, I, can, I am. I can tell you your current IP address. Yep. Okay, and uh, as you have told me the address, what is the address? Will you please repeat that slide? Yeah, are you worried now? Yeah. Sorry? Are you worried that, that I know your IP address? It, no, no, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a normal thing. Uh, you can uh, you can know about IP address, but I just uh, want to know that uh, have you able to trace our call or not? Yes. Uh, what is our address? That, that's your address there. It's 223.29.201.210. And that means mm -hmm. your ISP is Megdala Broadband. Okay, mm -hmm. now, so they're based in Krishna or Kolkata. So I've already been in contact. Sorry, Krishna. What is that? Krishna. It says Krishna Street, Kolkata. Krishna Street. Yeah. So you're either in the town of Krishna or in Kolkata. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's.